What's Gucci everybody, my name is Quest of Good or Quest for Short and welcome to the fourth installment of my 10 mil to Maxcape merching series. In this episode we will be discussing how times are affected by the individual item as well as the possible margins you can receive from individual items. I'm showing you multiple examples of items I have flipped in the past couple of weeks and also give you other helpful suggestions and ideas of what you can flip. Grab a protein shake, sit back, and enjoy the video. Okay, I've whipped up the quick example for us on um, margins for different items. Now, let's take a look at the uh, top image, Carol's Pistol Crossbow. Now, if you'll see here, I've got a margin of 700k on just one single crossbow. Whereas, if you go down the whip, that's a margin of less than 500 GP. How... I mean, it makes sense. They're different items. You would get different margins. But how is the margin so ludicrously different? Well, that's because the items are so ludicrously different when it comes to rarity. Abyssal Whip is so incredibly common compar uh, compared to the Carol's Pistol Crossbow. Think of supply and demand here when you're flipping. The more rare an item, the bigger the margins you'll get. The more rare an item is, the smaller the margins because more people will already have the item and there will be more in circulation brings me on to the second topic which is times of flips based on the rarity information I just gave you which one of these would you uh, suppose would go through quicker right the abyssal whip you didn't have to think about that one. I just cut you off mid thought because it's obviously abyssal whip that would go through quicker in this case because like I said more in circulation more people are buying them I mean who the hell needs a Carol's pistol crossbow well obviously some people do if they're buying them at uh, you know 2.057 mil and you're buying them at 1.35 mil. And don't rule out selling them to people who are actually merching, just price checking the item. Because those are going to be your customers uh, more often than not when you're dealing with rare items. The more rare you get, the more likely you're going to be selling them to people who are trying to merch them. Okay, now I just want to move on to a few examples of the Carol's Pistol Crossbows uh, merches that I did uh, in the past couple of weeks. For example, the Carol's Pistol Main Hand Crossbow is not the only rare item. You need to think of what these items are paired with. For example, the offhand pistol crossbow is even more rare than the main hand. So I tend to get larger margins than, uh, than the main hand with the offhand. For example, in this flip, I flipped five of them and doubled my money on this uh, just about and yielded just about a two mil merch on five items that sold. Not a bad day. Just to really enforce that, I have, uh, again, this is the main hand pistol crossbow, and I have another example just like this with the offhand, and I'll explain the two. This one took, I want to say, at least three days to entirely go through. It bought uh, overnight, all of them overnight, and the selling is what took the longest. But this one finished before the offhand pistol crossbow, but keep in mind, I only made a two mil profit in three days. Is that worth it? It's up to you. It's based on your play style. Okay, here we go. Same example. I bought 20 and sold 20. Now, the timing for this one was slightly different because it's slightly more rare than its main hand counterpart. Uh, it bought overnight and just a few in the morning, a few extra in the morning. So not a real big difference in the buying times there. Uh, it sold in the same time as it took for the main hand to sell. So really, it was about the same buying and selling time. So and uh, if you take a look at the profits I got, I, that was over 4.5 mil in this one. Almost twice as much as what I made in the last one. Anybody like images of overlaid Jarger long storage shard flips? Because I do. This takes me back to my last video where I was speaking about uh, weapon shard flipping and uh, how that is very beneficial. Now, instead of making the whole weapon, I was just selling them just like this uh, because it was a greater margin than actually forming the entire weapon. And it takes much less time just to accumulate, say, 36 shards. And this was 1.2 mil profit. And it didn't take very long, I promise you that. Now these shards, because they are more rare than seeing the actual Dragor, they do take longer to uh, buy and sell, for sure. Mostly buying, I find, it takes the longest for these. Uh, I was actually pretty lucky to get 36 in one go like this. I think it took probably a day to buy them, but I don't quite remember. Uh, but a nice 1.2 mil profit on that one. I was happy with that. Here I was messing around with some more shards. Uh, I managed to get 17 on this one. And this was the Drygor Mace Shard. And that was a 1.7 mil profit about. So I got 36 Drygor Long Shard Shards. And those 1.2. And this is 17 and 1.7, right? So 
you have to take into account that prices do change, uh, especially with these shards. You know, some days you'll go maybe a 20k margin on the shards, and the next day I'll find a 100k margin on each individual shard. Now, trust me, it takes much longer to get them uh, when they're at the 100k, but it is very nice to see those. This is one of those examples. Okay, let's switch gears here and go on to Ascension Keystone Quintus. Now, these keystones are great for flipping, particularly when they're either rising or falling. I find that's when I get the largest margins. On here, I only flipped 40 of my possible 100 in the uh, four hour time limit, and that was about a 1.2 mil merch. Not very rare, so this was a very fast flip. I strongly recommend you try these. These and all the other keystones there are. Example of some not so common, but not common items. Uh, these level 90 weapons and armors are really great for uh, margins. I wouldn't suggest the uh, draggers though. Those are a little too common for me, so. Uh, and people are undercutting and overcutting all the time. You can, you'll be lucky if you get a, a mill margin on those. Tectonic road tops, on the other hand. Uh, these sold... These actually bought and sold very quickly, uh, so it was a nice 1.4 mil profit. Yeah, just about that on two of them. Now, I also gave the Tectonic Row Bottom a try, and that was about a 1.7 mil profit on that. Very, very quick and uh, buys. And, God, very quick buys and sells on these. Uh, I suggest you take a look at the forums for prices. If you do see one, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, for these sorts of things, you'll have to really get to know the item because they don't give you the whole margin uh, like they do on like PC 101 or something like that, which is good for flipping uh, because people get to create their own margins. Now, on these items, I suggest mill profit, uh, mill margin, just about there. It really depends, though. Uh, so the bigger the margin, the longer it's going to take to flip. Now we're going to be moving on to the significantly rarer items, uh, third age more specifically. So on this third age kite shield, I got a 2.2 mil margin, uh, which isn't that bad. It's kind of on the low end for third age, but third age has been crashing tremendously recently. So I uh, wasn't sure how, what kind of margins I could pull on these. Going to flip uh, third age, I'm going to give you some tips. Uh, the first thing you need to know is you need to realize how rare these items are. They're not super rare they're not like party hat rare but they are very rare uh it also depends on what kind of third age items you're flipping kite shield not as rare as say the third age druidic for example so you're not going to pull nearly as uh nice margins uh, on a kite shield however i'd say margins within two to five mil on a kite shield is pretty reasonable uh just a little earlier before i did that kite shield i did this third age robe flip which yielded, again, 2.4 mil profit. Again, uh, 2 to 5 mil on these because they're not the rarest, so 5 mil is even pretty pushing it on uh, robes especially. Then a few days after that, I tried my luck at Third Age Robes again, and I actually bought two here and sold two, so that's not a 40 mil profit. That's uh, about a 6.6 about a .6 mil margin. Profit, not margin. 3.3 mil margin on these. I uh, tried stretching them out a bit, and it took much longer to uh, sell at this rate. They bought fairly quickly again overnight uh, on these. I bought two overnight and it sold within a couple days. Still not a bad flip. All right up next I actually tried my hand at a bit of uh, short-term merchanting. Not flipping. I was uh, buying these items based on the graph and selling them based on the graph. Uh, based on where I thought they were going to uh, peak at. And uh, I actually could have made much more on this. I sold this at, uh, these at 11k each. Bought them at 10.64 and uh, I realized the next day they were going for 11.3k. So, you know, better safe than sorry, though, is what I always say. I only managed to buy 6k of them because the rest of my cash was uh, in some flipping. And remember, I only had like 66 mil to start with for this episode. So 5k, that would have been like a 7 mil merch right there, at least, at least. Uh, but in this case, we still made a very nice profit with about, about a 2.2 mil profit. So... It only took like two days, so I, I'm not I'm not upset about this. And for the grand finale of this video, uh, my last merch I did was Dragon Bones because I saw I felt like they were gonna rise, and fortunately they did, so I didn't end up losing anything on this. I made about a 4.4 mil profit on these. Uh, I bought the mar the limit of these is 10k every four hours, so I bought. Uh, my first one's on the bottom, that little sliver, and then I gave the money to my friend who bought some for me at the same price. Actually, just a little less. So, 
that was a lovely profit for just two or three days of waiting. Not bad considering I wasn't even playing during those days. So, now thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more because I will definitely be doing more of these in the future. Uh, I plan to do a uh, merching, basic merching tutorial uh, in the next one, which will be short term slash long term investing. And um, if you guys have any questions on things you want to see in videos, uh, then I will definitely make a video if it's video worthy. If it's short enough where I can answer it in a comment, then I will definitely do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep making those gains, and I'll see you next time.